And when I get married, I'm not doing no um, wedding. Lies again. What kind of a woman is not going to do a wedding? <sighs> but let's see. Maybe she's not lying. I'm finna do a courthouse and then we'll have a nice wedding. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully, I, I don't know. Like, I have my stuff together financially and all that stuff. So if if I want to have a wedding wedding, I, I suppose I can, you know? And the guy I marry, I want him to have his self together too, you know? I, I'm tired of dating guys that are like, leaning on me you know like listen i want somebody that has their own um somebody that's successful This time, we got a woman <clears throat> uh, complaining about men not talking to her, and of course, with the delusion, she is saying she is fine, she is okay, um, she is not in distress, she is not desperate, it's not a rent. But I still would like a man. Oh, by the way, I want to do things by myself, travel to work by myself. I don't care if nobody else comes with me. Let's see if she is lying or if she's telling the truth. So, without further ado. Okay, so. My second outing to the bar alone, and it's not bad. It's not bad if you're necessarily not trying to meet anyone, but I'm trying to meet people, like, <laughs> and it's like no one is there. Okay, so no one is there. When you say no one is there, are you talking about? The ones that you are looking for are not there. Or is it that there are no men at all? Because that's the difference. Maybe the men you are looking for are not there. And guess what? At 30 years old, the men that you are looking for are not going to be in that area. More likely not. In the bar? Nah, not more likely not. They're probably somewhere else, not in the bar. So maybe you should change your location. Might be a good way to start. Might find somebody after that. So, notice all the makeup. I'm sure that is not her true face. And I would like to see her without makeup. Even with the makeup, she's like a five and a half, maybe maximum six. So maybe she's not that pretty without the makeup but I digress let's move on oh god like you know I'm at the point in my life where I am 30 going on 31 still quote-unquote looking for the one ill so cringy right <laughs> I wonder if she had the one before and then she let him go because he wasn't good enough for her. Never know. Listen, this is not a rant. This is not a feel sorry for me. You're complaining. It is a rant. This is just like a damn like I am. I guess it is a rant then. I don't know. Listen, I don't know. If you can relate, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, being over 30 and single is... How do I say this? Not fun. Um, 
I'm recently getting over a relationship and I am trying to, um, I'm just trying to move on with life, you know? I, for the most part, have gotten over him and am ready to just go out and about and have a good time and meet people and just, you know, like, live my life. Um, so, whenever... I Remember, I just mentioned that there's a chance she had somebody and she let him go because maybe he wasn't good enough for her. So, when you see a woman being able to get over a man, that's more likely because she's the one that left him, not the other way around. So, that's some key component. That maybe she had somebody very good in her hand, but she thought she was better, and so she wanted somebody better. Never know. Let's move on. I get like this, I start binge watching videos that I can relate to, you know, mm -hmm. being single, um, team single. Um, benefits of being single, all that stuff, and oh god, like I just never imagined this. I never imagined at 30 I would still be like floating around, you know what I mean? Like, no, um, this is the, the delusion alert part. Let me explain to you, Jet. Watching videos that you can relate to is not going to help you get better. The benefits of being single? No, 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 no. That's a video for men. There is no benefit of being single for a woman. As a woman in your 30s, you're entering the danger zone. Yes, the danger zone. That's not a benefit, that's a loss. For the man, it is different. This is the time where we become more handsome, more financially stable, more uh, rooted to what we want. And this is the moment where we don't care about women if we are single, then we probably gonna stay single even longer because we have no no need to get a woman anymore. It's good. This is the time for men to shine. Your time was in your twenties. Those were the time for your benefit. In your thirties there's no more benefit for you. It's for us men. Check your facts. But you know what? I digress. Let's move on. But at the same time, I still have like a lot of things that I want to do that if I were married, I think it would hinder that. Like I am going back to school so I can get my RN and then um, from RN to nurse practitioner. Now, I feel like if I'm married, that will be difficult because when you get married, you start to talk about having kids and all this stuff. And it's like, I don't, like, I don't want to rush into that. You know what I mean? Like, I want it, but I don't want to rush into it. Like, I want it to do, I want it to be very, like, natural, something that just comes when it's supposed to come. But I'm just like, damn, like, do people even still get married in their 30s? Like, what the fuck? I, I don't know. Ah. This woman got some issues. Honestly, though, she got some issues. Okay, so 
you want to go back to school, do that. On one hand, you want to be career driven. On the other hand, you want the uh, husband or the man. Um, but you're 30 though. You're 30. And I think it's a bad thing that women do when they cannot find a man. They go back to school, try to get deeper into the career, thinking that's going to get them a man in the future. That's not the case. Like I said, delusion alert. She doesn't know what she wants. Because she wants to do things that if she were married, she could not do. But at the same time, she wants to be married. You don't know what you want. You either want to do the things that you want to do by yourself and for yourself, or you want to get married. Which one do you want? You can't complain about not having a man in your life, and yet you complain, you, you're saying you're going to do things by yourself in life. Even, even if it's not all the way through, but... Yeah. Ah, yeah. Women. You guys need to get better. I don't know, sometimes it's just frustrating and I get very, um, I get very discouraged, you know, like I get very discouraged because it's like, when is it going to happen for me? And is it going to happen for me? And I'm not, I'm not desperate to. Yes, you are. Yeah, you are desperate. If you weren't desperate, you wouldn't make a video complaining about men not being in your life. You are desperate, so own, own it. Just own it. You are desperate. The point where I'm just going to take anybody that, you know, waltzes into my life, because like I said, I, I just ended a relationship because he just... You know, he just wasn't the one for me, and I, I knew it. Um, so, earlier I mentioned that more likely she had a man in her life, and she broke the relationship because she thought he wasn't good enough for her. So now she's saying, he wasn't the one for me. Why wasn't he the one for you? What makes you think you were the one for him? Have you thought about that? See, you left a man because, I'm going to guess, because he didn't fit your narrative. Maybe he wasn't six foot tall. Maybe he was, he have a six pack, six figure income. Mm -hmm. That happens. Maybe he wasn't that kind of man. Was he? Hmm. I bet, I beg the difference. Uh, he wasn't that kind of guy, but let's keep on going and see what she has to offer more. I'm not desperate. I just... I just really want it, you know, all my friends are married, they're having kids, and... I'm not desperate, I just really want it, you know, all my friends are getting married, having kids. You are desperate, honey. You are desperate. There is nothing wrong being desperate to get a man. I'm probably sure that the... the... Female East uh, movement, the Female East movement, have taught you the right things from the start that, hey, I am a strong woman. If you are not happy with the man, just leave him because you're going to find somebody better. Until you practice what they preach and, yeah, you get beat. 
That's the result of the feminist movement. It's just, hmm. I'm gonna just keep it 100. It's hard to see that. I get jealous, you know? Huh? I'm like, man, like, I mean, I'm happy for you, but damn. I'm like. Okay, first of all, stop lying. You are not happy for them. That's a fake happiness you got for them. Stop lying. Because you can't be jealous because they have something that you don't have, yet you're happy for them. Stop it, liar. Plus two, what do you have to offer as a woman? I'm hoping you're a Christian, I don't know. Because if you are a Christian, man, you just show that you are... I hope no Christian, no true Christian man would ever try to get a girl like that because she is not worth this squeeze, no, this juice is not worth the squeeze to all the men out there. Like, when is it going to be my turn? And when I get married, I'm not doing no um, wedding. Lies again. What kind of a woman is not gonna do a wedding? <sighs> but let's see. Maybe she's not lying. I'm finna do a courthouse and then we'll have a nice wedding. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully, I, I don't know. Like, I have my stuff together financially and all that stuff. So if if I want to have a wedding wedding I, I suppose I can you know and the guy I marry I want him to have his self together too you know I, I'm tired of dating guys that are like leaning on me you know like listen I want somebody that has their own um somebody that's successful and somebody that is worthwhile you know Hold on, uh, I'm not gonna have a wedding. <laughs> I'm gonna do a court, court thing and then a wedding. <laughs> but I don't wanna. <laughs> oh, by the way, remember I said that the guy that she left earlier. Maybe he didn't have a six-figure income. He didn't have a six-pack and six-feet tall and all that. Yeah, I'm, I guess my I think my guess was accurate. He wasn't that kind of guy. That's why she thought he wasn't good enough for her. <laughs> you, you know what? Let us move on. Let's move on. That's it. Let's move on. Somebody I can share the same goals with. I'm sorry. I just sound like I'm writing a damn profile for a dating app but that one you are right about that this is a dating app profile i mean so many guys have been sharing videos of dating app profiles now um men not boys you have to be six foot tall at least you have to be financially stable no, no chipstick. Um, excuse me. Yeah, that's what I No, no chipstick. Um, so please take me out on to dinner. Make me happy. Give me this. It's all about me and me and me. And all you get from me is me. Because I don't bring anything else to the table. That's you, lady. We don't care about your financial some financial success at all. It means nothing to us men. Nothing at all. The struggle is real. Like the struggle is effing for real. Like you know, and if you watching this video, I feel as though you can relate to this and No, I cannot. I cannot, I cannot relate to that, 
because I'm not sitting here complaining that uh, I don't have a girlfriend. I cannot. You are. So maybe the women like you, no, 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 yeah, maybe the females like you can relate. I cannot. That's for sure. That's for sure. You know, are there some other things that you want to do with yourself? Like for me, I know a lot of stuff that I can do and want to do. You know, um, I want to travel to different countries by myself. Just straight up by myself. Like, I don't even give a shit if I don't go with anybody. Like, just straight up. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. By myself. Like, I, I don't want to wait on anyone. You know, I just want to go when I want to go, you know. And I'm trying this new thing with myself now where I'm going out by myself. I'm putting myself out there. Um, I'm going to these nice restaurants and just sitting at the bar by myself, just having a good time, you know? And even though I haven't gone home with any <laughs> with any prospects, ah. and this is what, the second time I've gone out by myself, um, I'm not like, hmm? I mean, I'm frustrated because it's like, damn, like I'm putting all my shit together and you know people are looking but no one's approaching and it's like <laughs> the people that are looking are already like freaking you know standing next to their girlfriend and i'm just like okay well you know Ooh. hey <clears throat> did you notice she said I'm going to do things by myself. I'm going to go by myself. I'm not going to be waiting on anybody because I'm a strong woman and I can do it by myself. And now I am doing certain things where I am going out by myself. But where does she go though? Oh, she goes to those restaurants to meet men that are single. Oh. So, in fact, you're not that strong yet. You're trying to believe that you can do things but you cannot. Just accept it. You are discouraged. You're broken. You want a man. Don't act like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to wait on anybody. I'm going to do things by myself. No, you're not. Because everything that you've been doing right now so far by yourself is to catch a, is to catch a man. Because you know for sure that uh, the time is ticking. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Huh, I wonder is that what tick tock is about though? Is the biological clock for women? Yeah. So, stop acting like you're that strong woman, you're not. You can fake it as much as you want, but us men, we can read through you. Okay? Let's move on now. Or, you know, one guy almost tripped over his shoe looking at me. But, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I need to try different venues. Um, I've tried the online dating thing. I've tried the age gap relationship thing. Um, and none of that has worked out for me. Um, I've dated guys my age too. And um, I just need to change my standards. Um, and You got standard? Shocking. You have standard? Oh. You? Okay. I want more out of the people that I'm fully committing myself to. 
Mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna leave that there. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that there because I can, I'm gonna dive into, <clears throat> I don't wanna dive into why things didn't work out with my last. Let me tell you why. Because the men that she had, they didn't have a six pack, they didn't have a six figure income, and didn't and wasn't six foot tall, or six three six four foot tall, and big muscular athletic guy. That's why it didn't work out. I said it for you. Flings, I guess you can call it. I don't know, but um. Yeah, I, I got a lot of goals, a lot of things that I want to do. Um, and I I want to keep that in mind. There's so many things I want to do, like, so many things. like. And if I'm stuck, well, not stuck, but if I get married, it's like, that's, you know, me inviting somebody else in that not, not purposefully hindering my goals, but it's like, we're a team now and we can't just do whatever we want to do like it has to be in both of our best interests and anything i do impacts the other person and anything they do impacts me so so wait a minute you getting marriage is like you're stuck uh, you know like i said earlier you are not ready for marriage you're not ready for a man you better get some dogs and some cats and die alone. Because everything you just said is talking down on men. Reason why you didn't stick with the men you had. And now you think if you get married, you're stuck. Because you're not going to accomplish your goals. Get some dogs and die alone. It's that simple. I mean, I'd rather be single while I take care of this stuff that I want to do before I get married because I don't want anything interfering with that. Like, like I just said, you are not ready for marriage. Is she a Christian? I hope not. Because if you are a Christian, you do not have the Christian mentality. Ugh. I, I really don't. I, I can't. No, no. If I have a goal, I want to carry it out, you know? But I don't know. That's just me. That's just my two cents. Um, if you can relate, like, listen. It's like I just had an epiphany. Like, okay, you want to get married and you want to be in a relationship, but, you know... When I'm in a relationship, I, you know, a lot of me goes into that person. So it's like, in a way, you're, quote, you're in a way losing yourself bit by bit. And you can't get that back, you know? I was looking at a video where the title of it was, Getting Married is Not an Achievement. <laughs> That shit was so funny to me. Getting married is not an achievement. <laughs> Listen, to me, it sounds like an achievement. Because I'm like, damn, like, when is it going to happen? When am I actually going to meet somebody worthwhile? But, you know, maybe I'll meet them in nursing school. Maybe I'll meet them at my new job. Maybe. You know, it's so many possibilities, you know, and, you know, I'm glad that I got rid of the bad to make room for the good. You know what I mean? Like, so, I don't know. I just have to find ways to cope with it and to just realize that, you know, it is what it is. You know, carry on, do what you got to do until it's your time. So... I don't know. Let me know what you think. Oh. What I think is you have some issues. You need to go get some help. That's one. Number two, you're not ready for marriage. That is a guaranteed. 
because you got because you got too much baggage to carry you got you got too much issues for a man and you think now first thing is she says she has to drop her standard I don't even know if you have any standard because all you just talk about shows me that you are not worthwhile for a man there is nothing positive that came out of your mouth throughout this whole time you are not ready for marriage live your life get healed stop stop thinking of men <sighs> ladies that's for you so you know not to do certain things if you think it's okay when you were in your 20s it was your peak time and men were after you but you dismiss them and now you're in your 30s men are dismissing you and you don't think and you, yeah anyways you are not ready for marriage and if you're a christian i feel bad for you but um you need you, you need to go back to the bible and that's very important anyways guys um that was more than again hope to see you guys again until then 